Hello, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube channel. Today I'm going to give you an update video on the 1961 Airstream Bambi renovation. Uh, today's project, uh, besides me showing you some of the products I got recently, is I'm going to remove the shower pan. And that uh, is a rear corner, or they call that a curb side of the trailer. Curb side of the trailer is always the side that your entry door is on and the opposite side of the trailer is roadside. On the California edition Bambi 1961's the bathroom is on the road side of the trailer and the kitchen will be on the curb side. On the Jackson Center Ohio version it's opposite. So this shower pan is kind of tattered just from the years of use and abuse it's uh, maybe a, a pink color or maybe faded but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the grip tape off I have to take the drain assembly apart I'm going to sand it and I'm going to paint it but if, before I do that I have to remove all the aluminum trim that's around the outside and uh, in the previous video I had removed the top of this ledge here where the toilet sits and the toilet would bolt into this flange that goes directly into the black tank. And just in case anybody wants to know what it looks like inside, it's a fiberglass tank. Sure it's used, but I'm sure it's been drained and flushed out throughout the years. That goes underneath the refrigerator. That's the void for the refrigerator. And the cooktop is above. So I'm going to try to use that existing tank. i did got to do some tests on it to make sure it doesn't leak. Uh, but uh, what I have to do now is remove the shower pan so I can restore it. What I did already was the original metal sink with the porcelain finish. It was uh, chipped and scratched and faded. I sanded it down. I wet sanded it really good. There was a chip right here and a few little cracks right here. I sanded that all down nice and smooth and I used epoxy acrylic formula Rust-Oleum tub and tile paint and I got just their their white color and I'm on my fifth coat and it's very shiny up here but you spray the inside first back and forth spray let go spray let go spray let go and then you do the rim last but the little bit of overspray when you do the rim, it leaves a little bit of a rough finish, but I'm not too worried about that. I like the way it looks. So that's the original sink. I polished the ring that goes for the sink. And this, from the last video, this is the boost block kitchen countertop I cut and I chamfered the edge on. This is the faucet that I purchased. This is the look I'm going for. Since I'm gonna have a lot of aluminum accents polished in here, I decided to go with a chrome finish instead of a brushed finish. So, you know, it's going to be close to what this ring, the stainless steel ring is. And then this is the drain that I went with. Uh, it's made for bar sinks, so it has, just still has a little strainer built into it. A little basket with a rubber bottom. You can block it up. And that is going to go in the sink when the sink is all dry. And that will bolt and clamp up underneath the countertop. Then I'll use plumber's putty for this ring here. And then there's aluminum trim that goes against the back here that I'm going to rivet in place. I'm going to use some plumber's putty underneath that. And then the countertop is going to be secured to this cabinet once I redo this cabinet. Give it a refresh. And also, I'm redoing the drawer. So before we get to this project here, let me show you what I'm doing with the drawers. This is uh, one of the original drawers that was in the trailer. And uh, instead of trying to clean them all up, they're kind of worn and chipped. There's some fire damage on some of them. I'm gonna rebuild them. You can see it's regular plywood and there's uh, straight back here that this is just nailed in place. The bottom, there's a groove for the bottom Luan to slide into. So it's a series of rabbits. 
and dados. There's the front. And then it's just got plywood oak front that's glued and stapled on. So instead of trying to refinish these, I bought new wood for that as well. So what I had to do is take some measurements and the only modification I'm doing is I'm making the drawers less depth because I want to run some furnace ducting around the bank of drawers which is right here. So right now these drawers when you push them in it goes right up to the wheel well. So what I want to do is make them less depth so there's a gap behind them so I could uh, run the furnace duct work and some wiring. Uh, so you got a drawer here this is where the battery bank and the uh, battery chargers are going to be. That's the fresh water tank behind it. There's a drawer here, here, and here. And then out, that's an outside compartment that can open that I might utilize in the future. So this drawer over here is not going to be as deep so you can utilize that compartment maybe for some hitch bars. This is the ply, it's three quarter inch ply I purchased to make the drawer boxes. Several of them are seven inches tall for the sides and the front of a couple of drawers. And one of them is six and three eighths for the back of one of the drawers. The back's a little bit shorter. He's got a half inch recess. And then these smaller ones are for the drawers for the kitchen so there's all different size drawers but this is oak plywood so it's going to match the look i'm not going to stain them i'm thinking i'm just going to do a clear coat on them but i already have them all cut to their size now i have to cut them to length and then route the edges and do the rabbits and the dados in them and then assemble them and use a luon board for the bottom and then I'm going to try to reuse these tracks and clean them up a little bit. And then the face is a separate type of ply that I purchased. And uh, I'm going to sand them. I'm going to route the edges, stain, and finish them. So now back into the trailer, I'm going to set this up so you can watch me remove the shower pan. But let me just walk you through what I have to do first. Now I loosened up some of the screws for Discovery, but... This screw has to come out, which removes this piece, which is a transition from the wall to the shower pan. That's all aluminum. And it was never caulked, I'm surprised it was never caulked, but it's gonna to have to be sealed in some manner. There's also one here on the side, and then there's one here that transitions to the next height of the floor for the toilet. Then in the front, there's a piece of aluminum that trims out the top. So there's a lip here. And there's another piece of aluminum. And then there's another piece that's nailed into the floor. This is very delicate. I'm going to try to save it because I think I could polish it up. So what I have to do is undo some of these screws and take these out very carefully, very systematically. And then once I get those out, i got to drill out the rivets that are here. One of the first things I'm going to do is remove the shower drain. So I have to use one of these faucet tools. And inside, you can see it's very similar. And this hooks up to just a regular ratchet. That was pretty loose. That's good. I think it's at the point where I could get it by hand. It's very similar to residential plumbing. It's just uh, different sizes for RVs possibly. Okay, so that threads into another fitting, which then threads into the plumbing that is outside the trailer. So it's very similar to the sink strainer that I have. And maybe I'll buy another one just for the shower. But I think that I like to buy one with a regular drain plug. So now the bottom of the shower pan is separated from the floor. So that clamped everything down. 
and allow, only allowed the water to run down a drain, not underneath. This is the plywood floor right here, and this is the plumbing fitting below the trailer. So now what I gotta do is remove this aluminum here. So I already loosened these screws. I wanna try to save these screws because I like the look of the flat head. I think they will clean up pretty nice. You can see Airstream made these right at their factory. They cut them, they bent them, and they were specifically used to seal the shower pan. And you can see the shower, how it fastens to the wall. There's a series of rivets, and screws. And then this piece, because I already had it out before and I slipped it back in, this screwed into the floor that covered the black tank. So this is just wedged in there. Okay. These are really sharp, so I'm just being cautious. Now what I have to do is re remove the screws that hold this pan in and drill out the rivets. So these uh, screws are just screwed into wood, so they're very easy to turn with a screwdriver. No need for power tools in this. I'm going to remove the rest of those, and then I'll show you how to get the rivets out. To remove the rivets out, you want to get the correct size drill bit. Stick it in the middle of the hole, and drill. And the head comes right off. And then you want to get that off your drill bit. And then you're going to go right to the next one. It doesn't take a lot to get these out. You want to get straight on to it. You can see it's separated from the wall. The heads of the rivets are out. Now I'm going to drill out the rivets that are on this front panel here. I'm going to start with this one in the corner here. Sometimes the rivet will spin in place. So I'm just going to put a little bit more pressure on it. These two rivets are already missing. There's a couple here off to the side. Sometimes you can't get them off the drill bit. You can leave them on, but they will bunch up. This one rivet, there we go. So I'm stuck here. There we go. There we go. We got this trim. Airstream bent this in place. And then this is just a piece of aluminum that trims out between the fiberglass shower pan to dress it up and make it more uniform. I can see there's a channel that screwed into the floor to remove this piece here. I don't think I have to remove this piece completely right now to get the pan itself out. Because I'm trying to save this material here, let's move it out of the way. That's it. This is the floor underneath the shower. You can see the original asbestos tile, the drain for the shower. And just looking at everything, 
no rot in the floor, couple little water stains. Impressive, and you can see the original lines that Airstream put on the floor when they made their measurements. So now I'm gonna clean this whole area up and then I'm gonna prep this and paint this shower pan, which is probably gonna take about three or four hours. Well, this is Patrick with New Jersey's Outdoor Adventures YouTube ch channel. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I'd love it. Whoa, my mocked up walls are falling. We'll see you soon.